Hey Puzzlers, this is Steve here with another video on how to solve some logic puzzles. This one is known as Battleships. Probably one of the most popular uh, logic puzzles out there and one of my favorites. How it works is you're going to be trying to find the fleet of ships in the ocean, much like the board game. The difference here from the board game, however, is the ships cannot be adjacent to one another, not even diagonally, and there's numbered clues along the outside. The numbers represent how many ship segments are in that given row or column. And that's it for the rules. What I'm going to go ahead and do is try to solve this example puzzle for you guys, sharing some common tips and tricks along the way. And I'll post a link in the description on where you can play these puzzles yourself online. It is one of my favorite websites, so hopefully you guys enjoy it yourself. There are plenty of other puzzles out there as well on the website. And also, I have a puzzle book that contains these types of puzzles if you want to check out my book from Amazon, that'll be in the description as well. So without further ado, let's get to solving. So the first place I would start is the zeros. Of course, here we know any column or row that has a zero is going to contain no ship segments. So that's all going to be water. Uh, that's easy peasy, probably where everybody should start. Uh, after that, what I would consider is trying to look for uh, perhaps the largest ship in the fleet, which is known as the carrier. And the reason for that is because that's going to be the most constrained. Here we know any row or column that is not of at least size 4 cannot contain it. So um, the only two columns here that can contain it is the 6 column and the 5 column. But if you look at the 6 column, there's no 4 white cells in a row. So it can't be there. So the only column it could be in would be this five column. And if we look at the rows, there's only one row it could be in. It would be this five column. But again, there's no four white cells in a row. So we know that carrier, the large ship, belongs here in this column. And we can use the same strategy that you would in a Picross or a Nonogram, where you look at the two extreme possibilities and see where they overlap. So here, if we look, the airship carrier could go in those four cells or it could go in these four cells. But either way, these three cells are going to be in no matter what. Those overlap. And whenever we find ship segments, we know the diagonals have to be water because you can't have boats uh, diagonal to one another. And because we know the orientation of the ship, we know on the left side and right side is going to be water. So that's really helpful. Now from there, uh, I notice this is a, a ship segment that's an end. So that's a clue that's given. We know the shape of it, so we know it goes in this direction, uh, and we know it's not a submarine. If it were a submarine, it'd be a little circle. Uh, so we know that that's a ship segment there, and that's water. Uh, we look at this three row. There's only two uh, spaces left, and we need both of those to be ship segments uh, to make it three for the row. Um, this six, I think, is going to be all of them, right? Uh, there's only one, two, three, four, five, six open cells. So all of them have to be uh, boats. Now this one row is solved since we found uh, the one submarine there. And this one column only has one uh, ship segment available, or white cells, so that's, that's in. Now, if we think about, um, well, this three row is solved. We have one, two, three ship segments, so that those two are water. Same thing with this three, one, two, three, so we know that that's water there. And at this point, um, the puzzles may start getting a little tougher. So what you have to consider is what boats you've already found and what uh, boats are left to be found. So we know the, the carrier, the four sized boat goes here. We don't know if it's up here or down there, uh, but we know we need two three sized boats. So we found one of them. The other three sized boat is either going to be here or here. And unfortunately, I don't think we can figure out which one's which quite yet. But if we move on to the next one, there's three two sized boats. And we've we know for sure um, one of them is going to be here or here, and, and 
the other one's going to be a three. So it's going to be a two size boat here and a three size boat here or vice versa. Uh, and then we're going to have to find two more two size boats. And the only spots they can be is down here, right? Because we know whichever, uh, um, you know, there's just all of these are one cell spaces. So we know both of those are going to be the two size boats. The other thing I just figured out is this airship carrier. One of these is going to be water and one of these is going to be a ship segment because you can't have a five sized boat all together. So for the fifth ship segment, it must be up here. And that resolves now we found the second three sized boat. So this is a two sized boat here. Um, this two here solves that column, so the rest is water there. Uh, this three row is resolved, so that solves this carrier now is up there like that. That solves this two. We have one, two ship segments in that row. Uh, this three column now says this must be a submarine to make it three. And this five row only has four. We need a fifth one. So the fifth one goes right there. And there you have it. That is how you solve a battleship's puzzle. Lots of fun. Again, it, it is one of the more popular puzzles out there for a reason. Um, I thoroughly enjoy it. And there's some fun variants out there as well, as well, like a Minesweeper variant, where instead of having the clues along the outside of the grid, they have the clues inside the grid, uh, much like a Minesweeper puzzle. So uh, definitely check it out. If you want to try it online, hit the link in the description below to take you to a fun website. And if you want to buy a book, I'll post the link in the description below of my uh, book I published on Amazon that contains uh, these battleship puzzles and some other variants, including the battleship logic. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I hope you have a good rest of your day. See you guys.